Inside the digester, the organic waste is broken down anaerobically by methanogenic bacteria. Biogas is then formed as a byproduct of the digestion. First, the gas accumulates at the top of the digester, and then, once purified, it flows into the gas bag. As gas accumulates in the gas bag, the pressure starts increasing. The liquid column is pushed downwards by biogas formation. The gas pressure is equal to the liquid column height. One centimeter equals one millibar equals 100 pascal. When the gas bag is full, the pressure inside reaches up to 12 millibar. Biogas pushes down the water column on the combined overflow. At 12 millibar, excess biogas is released to the atmosphere from the combined overflow openings. When the stove is turned on, the gas inside the bag starts to flow, which slowly decreases the pressure. The gas bag contains pockets on top and on the sides, which are filled with sandbags. The bags are distributed evenly around the gas tank, so pressure is constantly exerted even when the gas tank is nearly empty. This guarantees that the stove will be able to light even if the gas bag is not full. Since it's a closed cycle, when organic waste or water is added to the system, fertilizer will pour out from the outlet. The fertilizer should be diluted in a ratio of one to five and for trees, one to three. When gas is used, the tank empties out, and when being fed again, this cycle starts over and over again on a daily basis. Thank you for your attention, and welcome to the Home Biogas family.